Shanahan, three Super Bowls. He has a 10-point lead or more at halftime, double-digit lead or more at halftime, has lost all three. Unbelievable. I mean, the nightmare keeps recurring. It's like, it's, it's, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, that that's almost incomprehensible when you think about it. A guy that has probably not gotten as much love as he probably should have, Chris Jones prevented two touchdown passes. I thought Purdy played very well. Purdy has two touchdown opportunities. Chris Jones gets such quick pressure. He has to throw it before he really wants to, and and his receivers are there to make plays, but he can't quite make the throw he wants to make. Chris Jones, you know, it's a, oh, man, you look at his tackles, you look at his, get to the pressure column. Those two pressures were huge. They kept two touchdowns off the board, man. And and I think I'm, this is where I'm going to stop and just point out the difference between as much as we like Brock Purdy, and I do, I'm a big fan of his, as yeah. much as we saw him post numbers the game has never seen, his 9.6 yard per pass attempt, that's the best you've ever seen from a quarterback to start every game during the season in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he set franchise records for passing yards in a single season. This is a franchise that had Steve Young and Joe Montana for multiple seasons, and he rewrites uh, franchise record books for passing and passer rating. But the difference is right in there, what you just described, with Chris Jones breathing down his neck, hadn't hit him, hadn't sacked him yet, but the presence, that's what pressure really is. It's, 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 it's void of the sack quotient, but it's the where you're close to getting sacked, where you're close to getting hit. You're feeling the presence of that defender. But still, can you stick that throw? Still, can you make that throw? Now, look, he's only a second-year quarterback. Right. You know, I've talked to, to Ben Roethlisberger, and Ben, I think, was in his second or third year when they went to a Super Bowl against Seattle. Man, he was a different player in that game than he was later in his career when they played the Arizona Cardinals, and he was throwing dimes. So this is not an indictment on Brock Purdy in terms of who he'll be. I think the fact that he's a second-year player, he's very young, that pressure like that is going to bother you. But the really elite, you know this. And I, we got some guys who've been in this league for 10 years and they can't make that throw while under pressure. Right. And then there's only a hand few. And those are the guys that win championships. Those are the guys that really are very special, that they can throw the ball in those tight windows, even when they're under pressure. In 2021, the number one rated quarterback in the NFL while under pressure was Joe Burrow. And he was ranked top five again in 2022. So he's, an, I'm just giving the data points to say that he is another quarterback like Patrick Mahomes that can still make those throws despite still being under pressure. 